Hey guys, it's your girl, Nunu the Hair Diva, Najuan Nicole, and I am coming in. It's been like two and a half months since I have been on YouTube, and like everyone else, I have reasons. So if you want to hear my reasons, then definitely stay tuned. In the process, after that, I have two bags here that I want to quickly go through some of my empties and let you know how my channel is going to be changing. So if you want to hear these ideas and reasons, then just stay tuned. Girl, you can get it all day. Slow it down, let me get a replay. The way you just put it on me. Of YouTube for like two and a half months and I had been fighting with myself on creating videos I pretty much had YouTube burnout I wasn't wearing my makeup the way I wanted to but I definitely was still doing skincare and I had other things going on I really don't feel like I owe anyone an explanation but I appreciate everyone who has continued to stay subscribed, all of the new subscribers who don't know anything about me, and I felt like I owed it to my YouTube family slash friends the way I see you guys an explanation. So as I always do, I write down my notes because I wanted to stay on track, and I didn't want this video to be long with me just jabber jawing. So, here are my reasons. One, I didn't feel like I could keep up with everyone. I just felt like to keep up with the people that I assumed I needed to keep up with, it was going to take a lot of money. And I didn't want all of my money to go into just makeup items. I was getting YouTube burnout. That's number two. Which coincides with, you know, number one. Um, YouTube burnout is serious. <laughs> it is serious. Because YouTube is changing so many things. And if you want your channel to thrive, you pretty much are under a lot of rules and regulations that aren't based on you thriving your channel. So, you know, I understand YouTube don't owe me anything, but it just made it more difficult and I had certain YouTube issues that I had to correct, so that's, you know, why I didn't want to deal with that. Three, I felt like everybody was sharing the same thing. <laughs> if I brought the uh, Too Faced Chocolate Gold, 30 million people brought it. And everybody went to who they wanted to see a review on. And, you know, like others, I have a family. I work. YouTube is not my main source of anything except for fun. So, yeah, no. I, I'm not that YouTuber that everybody rushes to to hear my thoughts and reviews. But the ones that do, Lord knows, I appreciate y'all. I really, really do. Um, I also have down here that I didn't want to spend all my money on makeup. And I mean, I did a Microsoft Excel program that Candace Victoria showed on her video how to put all of your makeup and list so that you could just keep up with everything, have your dates, all that stuff there. I really liked doing that. I did that and it gave me a price <laughs> of everything that I had purchased. And I was like, what is wrong with you, Nunu? Yeah, you better use this makeup you got. <clears throat> all right. I did something else that you guys <laughs> may not know. Um, I cut down all of my nails. 
all of them so these are what my nails look like of course my thumbnail is still long but it's not as long as it was here is the left hand you guys know this hand is the hand that I let just grow out of whack but they started breaking so I know my limit of length and I just decided to start over and on this side pretty much the same thing so yeah that's that with the nails I'm still doing the Bianca Renee hair challenges. I haven't flat ironed my hair every single week for probably about, because uh, I started in December, like five months. Um, I conditioned my hair, and my hair became mush. <laughs> so I had the protein treatment and this and that, but I'm still redhead, uh, colored redhead, and, you know, I'm still doing that. No straightening, no cutting, none of that. And there was something flying in front of my face. What else? Yeah, I started putting YouTube before God and my family. And I was like, mm -mm, no, no, no. Like, how much do I need to say to that? Nothing before God in my life. I'm not idolizing anything. So I had to fall back and make sure that I get my priorities straight. God first. Family second, work, and fun third. That's how I choose to live. I'm still doing my 52-week money challenges. I just haven't made any videos for them. But, you know, I got a new grandbaby. I have my baby girl in college. And I got to save money. So makeup, we not buying no more of that. And the last thing I wanted to say is that I'm going to reinvent myself and by doing that I'm not going to post as many videos as I was doing but when I post a video rest assured that however long or short the video is I'm going to make it my business that I have accurate which I feel as though I had accurate information in all my other videos but I'm going to have accurate information the product my thoughts and then we'll take it from there so I will be doing throwback makeup videos. I'm going to keep showing y'all what I got. <laughs> and, you know, we're going to make looks out of that. Nail art and products, I'm going to continue to do that as well. However, I think I'm going to bring it to you with my look-alike videos where I do my makeup and my nails to match. And I will also try to throw in there kind of like a step-by-step -step basic nail art and how I think about the designs I want to do. I'm no master, but the more I do it, the better that I am getting. And I'm sweating like I don't know what. Let's see. Very small beauty and nail hauls. And when I say very small, I mean seven minutes small because I probably be talking too much during the video <laughs> what else empty videos and the last thing for that so we can get to these empties collab videos whether you have the same amount of subscribers I have or not but you want to do a collab video let me know I love being a part of the collabs I definitely will do it the way you would like to do it and then we can share I miss doing the collabs and that is something that I think will bring me closer to everyone that I participate with as we go so that's what's going on why I was gone how I'm gonna change my channel reinventing myself now let's get down to these empties I still have this bag of empties but I also have this bag so because many of you may not want to stay this long I'm going to do the makeup first many of you probably not going to care about everything else it's okay so makeup skincare kind of thing we're going to go through so I have my Clinique clarifying lotion in step two um, I love Clinique. All of you guys that know me know Clinique is my go-to. 
so this is a product that you will continue to see as we keep going and I'm just going to toss it on my bed I got two of these retinol wipes uh, this is collagen in the pink, retinol in the blue. Love these. Dollar Tree. Going to keep using them. I am done with my Clinique All About Eyes uh, Serum. Now, it started to get old, and I actually purchased this in January of 2019. So, as you can see, it's still a little bit in the bottom, but I'm not going to keep rubbing that on my eyes. I'm done. This right here is a Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Primer. This is okay, but I found the Clinique one that's cheaper than this and does my face much better without having like, par not that that has parabens in it, but I like Clinique more because I've been using it since I'm 16. Since I was 16. It's been a minute since I've been on here, so forgive all of the bloopers I have finished my naked lip gloss that we made the Franken gloss most of these items I have videos on so I'll try to put a whole list of videos if you want to know anything about them on there I've also completed this essence mascara love this I got about three more this is my go-to mascara now I really enjoy it I finished up an Ulta Beauty brow tint in the color Auburn love this as well it's creamy it's waterproof for my brows it stays on I just love it and it matches my hair what else I got I have this mascara uh, voluminous feline I didn't like this not one bit so that's all I have to say it didn't do nothing for my lashes it made them clumpy my eyes burned in a little bit I think I'm just sensitive to the formula but I know I won't be using it anymore LA girl pro concealers I've at, ooh, I've had this one a long long time I don't even want to tell you how long I had it but this is in the color toffee, and this is my color in the winter time. And this, two of them, two in the color toffee. I mean, I've been going through, child, concealer, they are my friend. I've been going through those. What else I got in here? I got an Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. I love these things. And this one is the Black Raspberry. They don't have a flavored taste is just regular oil on your lips but I love to use that because it just keeps my lips very very soft let's see what else I got in here I have Laneige eye sleeping mask I finally finished this up I will not repurchase this this does absolutely nothing for me it may be the best thing you guys have tried. It does nothing for me. It just was an extra step. I'll stick to my under eye creams. I will not be buying that again. Uh, Clinique Take the Day Off. This is a makeup cleanser. Is that it? There you go. It's like a balm. I'm going to keep this packaging. Uh, and just to show you, that's the date on there. But I'm going to keep this packaging because when I buy more and I do my small traveling, I could take this with me. I finished up an All About Eyes um, eye cream. And I think I'm going to keep this packaging as well. The two things I may do with it is use it for travel because it's perfect travel sizes. Or I might use it just to hold some of my nail art. Last but not least for the makeup, and it was in this Sephora bag, I have the Monsoor Big uh, Deluxe Sample of Mascara. We completed that. I do like it, but I'm not going to pay that price for it. This right here is the Clinique. Uh, it's a balm, but I use it all, that you use for your eyes, to get the makeup off of your eyes. It came in this pretty tube. It doesn't, can I use this tube again? Because you know Nunu like to reuse. We're going to see. 
I'm going to see. I'm going to put it to the side, and if I get a chance to make a Franken anything and use this, I'll do a video for you guys. And then I have all of these little tubes of fragrances. Many different kinds. Alien, Fresh, Grace, Elizabeth and James, another Amazing Grace. What is this? Who are you? Michael Kors and who are you? Daisy. Michael Kors Daisy. So I've been using up all these little fragrance samples because I'm like, mm, I can smell like whatever I want every single day. So there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and get into this bag right here. And you're going to hear a little bit of noise because I don't have a table. But I'll try not to make it, you know, overwhelming. I have my Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. Now this soap is 40 fluid ounces. And I believe I probably ordered this online because I got it for like $10. When normally this is probably like $28 or something like that. But I use this for my body as a shower gel. And I also use this to clean my makeup brushes. I love this because it gets all the makeup, all the foundation off from previous times of me using it that way. And now I just clean my makeup brushes basically for powder products. I have finished up a Beauty Secrets Acetone. We know what that's all about. I have one more waiting. This is disgusting disgusting this is a professional hair care product it is by influence and it is a reconstructor if anybody knows about Dudley beauty products the DRC 28 or alpha G it's called that's what this product was it's just that it's only sold to professional licensed cosmetologists I'm going to put this on the side because I need to get the information off the back of there so that I can order some more I finished up a Shiseido cotton packet. I do have one more. Let's see. I got one more big one, but I haven't opened it yet. So I got plenty. I've also completed uh, Aunt Jackie's Curl La La. Y'all know I love this. This is a product that does my hair good. And I have one that I'm working on. Nair Aloe and Lannan. Yeah. I love this stuff. We already know why we use it. To remove hair. <laughs> um, a short cotton ball rounds. I finished that up. What else we got? Bath and Body Works Moonlight Pad Fragrance. Now this I finished up because it's a small bottle. I just sprayed this bad mamma jamma everywhere. Um, I might could use this bottle for something else. So I'm going to hold on to this, probably put my reconstructor in it because the sprayer on that nozzle is quite good. I have finished up a Blink Tears. Most of you guys know I have issues with my eyes and I have like dry eye syndrome, whatever you want to call it. So this helps me. I'm actually on my second bottle, but I have finished that. This is the CND Service Essential Scrub Fresh. This is pretty much like acetone slash alcohol just to clean your nails off when you are doing your nails. This was $7. I was livid. Do you hear me? When I purchased this off of Ulta, I will never buy this again. It worked, but not for $7 in that size. Nope, we're not doing that. Bath and Body Works, this little, uh, I don't know what you call these things, wallflowers, yeah, I think I do know. <laughs> the wallflower, this was in bourbon and bow ties, I didn't like the smell, but it was okay. I have like six other ones, and I think I'm working on coconut and lime or something like that, but yeah. So now I have Carol's Daughter. You guys should remember when I purchased like four of these. <laughs> so I'm bringing them all out to you because this is Pure D Empty. Okay? So me and my granddaughter, we used that. And here's the second one. I have one left. Just one. So I will be repurchasing that. 
this Carol Daughters almond milk right here I love this stuff y'all this is the best I went to Walmart and saw this on the clearance section and I got two of them for two dollars and nine cents a piece these are like fifteen dollars so yeah I, I went through one like it was nothing if I can go back and find some more yes I will buy the whole cart <laughs> Last but not least, these three items I can go ahead and show you guys. We got two buffing blocks because I'm always doing my nails. Um, the blue one is very coarse. The white one is to smooth out the nails. So we use that up and I, I try to use them for at least two to three months. And then the main choice, Tropica Moringa Restorative Spray. I actually have another one over there with the rest of my hair care. And I went through this bottle. This, I love this stuff. This stuff really makes my hair do what I want it to do. So this is always going to be a staple in my hair care uh, selections. And yeah, so that is everything. Once again, I don't know how long this video is, but I want to welcome all the new positive supporters that subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for hitting the subscribe button. My apologies if you hit the button and you haven't had a video in two months, but don't worry, I will be coming back. I'm going to do another video. In that video, in the beginning, I will let you know what days and what time I will be posting my videos. I think I'm going to pick two days out of the week and um, take it from there. That's how we'll do it. So all of the rest of my positive supporters, all of my friends, you girls, you women, you guys, you gamers, all of you, thank you. Thank you for uplifting me, being supportive, checking on me, talking to me, all the things that you did and you didn't have to do. I'm going to say this, may God bless you all. Thank you for your time and support, and Nunu will see you in the next video. Bye. Girl, you can get it all day Slow it down, let me get a replay The way you just put it on me